keep an eye on. Oh, oh no. Oh, goodness. That's a huge spin at turn three. And it's Mason. So that he'll get stuck there if he doesn't get moving quickly and rock that car out of the gravel. Wow. That's a big off. I'm assuming, well, it's hard to know, Chad, where that is. So the engine stalled. I think, I think that's the sand trap or gravel trap at the entrance to turn four. Yeah. So he's lost it through three. Very lucky to get out of there. Oh, so he's had a big one under braking down into Honda Corner. And he's going to... Oh, oh. So there's a road that goes all the way around the outside of the track here, which, which is doing the right thing. He's braking and accelerating, trying to get rid of all the gravel. Let's have a look what happened here. So he's going around... Oh, he's gone out onto the damp around Royal Harris, who's decided to abort his lap. Oh. And then he's locked up. He'd say he's locked the rears in front of Roll. This is going to be a good effort by Roll to miss him. Oh, that is a huge moment. And look, it's just broken the rear, the rear tray cover, just about snapped it clean in half. Now, he'll have to be careful about that because if he's driving back to the pits at speed, that'll pop up again on the way back around the hay I've shed. I've never seen that. I've never seen any of those open without contact, for starters, and yeah. that's a big off. The last time I saw one of those trays pop up was on his car at Sandown, right. where he went into the fence, but that was, After you know, contact a with big, the wall. big smack on the fence. So maybe that's a new way of slowing the car. It's like, it's like the drag NASCAR. racing, where, or drag, <laughs> where you pop the chutes, you pop the rear tray up for a little bit more retardation. That's the, um, that's the new aerodynamic genius at work there in the Utes. The tray pops up, and there you go. It's off now. So uh, that that will completely rip off the back oh. of that car. Debris everywhere. It's coming into the lane. <laughs> Good to see the Utes have still got it, Cam. Oh, it's, God. It still manages to throw out a surprise or two, this category. Yeah, I'll just grab Mason Barbera. I had to grab him. He was running off into the paddock, mate. Uh, yeah, we've, the, the team have told you, so Virgin Australia supercar officials have told you, you can't go out with that tonneau like that. But we saw you have a chat to Ryle Harris. What were you saying to him? No, I just said that looked pretty funny, didn't it? So, yeah, you know, it was got a bit sore. I just didn't realise how wet it was there. And, you know, obviously we got Super 2 now, so get out of the car. It's unfortunate, but I think we should stay inside that top three, top four area. So not too disappointed. Look, you know, I wanted the pole, and I think we 100% had the car and we could have done it, but... Can't do much about that. Um, you know, me and Roll are really quite fierce competitors out there, and uh, I know he, he tried to push me wide there a little bit, and it worked. You know, I ended up in the sand pit, so um, I hope he gets pole. Good for him, it's good for the team, but now it's time to concentrate on Super 2. So the words weren't any stronger than that was a bit of fun, was it? No, nah, no, nah, no stronger than that. No, nah, he's good, he's all right. I don't believe you, Mason. Go and get ready, mate. I'll speak to you later. <laughs>